Hello and welcome to Dig Dog, a platformer roguelite inspired by Dig Dug. This game is really neat due to its fast paced and arcadey gameplay loop. There are four zones to blast through, with bones acting as an exit door and as your score. Along the way, there are tons of enemies, environmental traps, and passive upgrades to buy. Run variety mostly comes down to the level generation because, unfortunately, the passive upgrades available aren't too interesting. The dog is very fragile and can be killed very quickly with its 2 HP, and a winning run is around 10 minutes, meaning runs are very quick to start and finish. For 4 hours, Dig Dog is an absolute steal. Alright, so there's the Buzz Pal which means that I'm immune to the saws that are in the environment, and then there's a magnet which picks up coins for me. <coughs> Apologies for that, I do have a cold this week. Um, so one of the cool things about this game is the game is really simple. Um, the controls are just left to right, and then your A button does your dash and your jump. And that's it. Um, the game is very simplistic in pretty much all of its design decisions, but it makes for a really fun, fast-paced, fast um, sort of arcadey roguelike. These enemies are annoying, they kind of hide in the terrain. You gotta be really careful in this game, you are very fragile. Especially with your starting health. Winning run is, I think it's 16 bones. So that's four levels per area. There's only the um, four areas, as I mentioned before. So runs are nice and short. Um, there is a looping mechanic that I'm hoping to get to. Um, the game in the loop gets significantly more difficult, um, because it essentially puts you on a timer. Let's see. Okay, the ball is to the left. No reason I have to take my time. Okay, this is where the enemies start getting a little more dangerous. You have guys that can shoot, and then those guys, those sort of ream-looking guys, um, start aggressively digging down towards you once they aggro, for example. And they can break blocks. There was a shop over there, but I don't really need it. I have a good 20 hours in this game. Uh, I think it's great. It's only like... What? I think it's less than $5. <coughs> Which is crazy, because this game is really replayable. Um, and it really, really addicting. So 
this is what those these sort of green uh, environmental objects do. They carve out a large chunk of the level. Oops. That's not good. Don't know what HP on already. But I am in the final area. So this area has a bunch of terrain that you can't actually delete. Ugh. And these guys, which are terrifying. Gotta be careful. I want to get to this enemy because that's how I'm going to get my health. Indicated by the red in his eye. And then the, the yellow in their eye indicates that they are will drop money. I'm going to get through here without this guy being a problem. Okay. Oh, that's dumb. I am so bad. Okay, we're gonna do one more run. We're gonna do one more run. That's how quickly it ends in this game. Just one mistake. <coughs> it's very, um, Splunky-esque in that way. Although I'd say this game is actually, like, kind of comparable to Splunky in a lot of ways. Um, mostly in that you do have to be very careful. The game is more about the traps and stuff than it is about um, killing things. I don't have enough for that full health, I think. Oh, I do have enough for that full health. Oh, wait, that's a full health, not a... Okay. That's a full health, not a, uh, not a max upgrade. Very smart. Whoops. I'm just making all sorts of mistakes. It'll be fine. Um, another thing worth mentioning is the soundtrack is great. I really, really, really like the soundtrack. Um, the visuals aren't the most impressive thing ever, but they're neat. And the black and white on um, colorful backgrounds is, uh, is appealing to look at, at least. Um, it's just not very complicated. I don't think the game needs to be uh, visually complicated. Like the simplicity of the visuals and the chiptune soundtrack contribute to the simplistic nature of the game. This is another one of those rug lights where is proof that what you need to make a good roguelite is not a ton of items and meta progression and all that junk, necessarily. Sometimes all you need is a really, really good core gameplay loop. And those tend to be up there in terms of the roguelites I prefer, especially per as compared to ones with a bunch of meta progression. I am not a huge fan of uh, meta progress. And this one, I mean, this one has some. Um, if you beat an area, you can go back to it and start at that area um, from the menu. Um, but that's it. There's not a bunch of items to unlock. There's not really a meta currency or anything. I think that's the way to go. I don't really like the grind that a lot of roguelikes have of 
you need to play for X amount of arbitrary hours to unlock everything within this game. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta give him over. We gotta give him over. The game's hard. He was very good at committing murder. <coughs> Play a little bit faster just to get through this first area. I don't really have any criticisms of this game. A lot of my commentary tends to be about, like, what I find wrong with the game. But, like, this game is just really, really good. And there's just not really anything for me to complain about. Which <laughs> is weird. Especially for me, because I tend to be more critical of games having minor weird decisions and stuff, but I don't really think there is anything in this game that I'd like, be like, this is something that's worth noting. It's just designed really, really well. Well, I will say, if I die again, I'm gonna criticize it for being too hard. That, that is my that is my that is my one criticism for this video. Game hard. kind of limit the length of your dash by flicking the stick the other direction. Oh. You have a lot of control over your character, despite using only three buttons. Which is nice. The game, I mean, it feels great to play. <coughs> it's actually pretty lightweight. But this is one of the, the rare cases where feeling sort of lightweight isn't really a problem. Because usually that means it doesn't feel tight. Usually that means it feels kind of floaty. But this game doesn't feel floaty at all. Let's see. Yeah, I need to find the exit soon because I have everything ever chasing me right now. Maybe I don't have everything ever. Okay, I thought there was going to be way more stuff chasing me there. Yeah, well, there's a HP upgrade. Uh, that enemy's gonna aggro. Just get rid of him. If you stomp, you, you actually have more range. There's an upgrade to make your stomp even better, I believe. Wait a little more careful. Yeesh. Okay, we're just gonna outrun it. Can I get through the final area? We shall see. So there is leaderboards. Um, there's a leaderboard for amount of bones collected, which is basically just the same thing as amount of levels completed. And then there's also a leaderboard for... Ugh. I need to... Um... Yeah, I... Okay. I tried so hard to get, a, get out of that. Um, but then there's also a leaderboard for amount of coins collected. I hate this. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Let's 
fine. Two more levels to go. I wish combos meant something. There, there's my criticism. <laughs> Okay. Those enemies are. Ugh. Those enemies are scary. Okay. I really need HP. Good job on throwing yourselves into spikes. You're gonna do the same thing, probably. Um. Okay, this feels like it's gonna be really weird. Uh, ah, I got health, but at what cost? Time to show off what Loopy looks like. This is what Loopy looks like. Big Saw chases you. Enemies from all enemies. Oh, enemies from all areas. Um, can spawn. And it's just a nightmare. Let's see how far we can get. Um, I think my best. I, I don't remember if I've been to the third area in loop or not. I know I've been to the second area. It'd be kind of funny to get a PB in this video. Oh, we need to go. That's unfortunate. I really need that health. But... Oh, I'm around. Oh no. Today I learned you can juke the saw. Clearly this is real where the real fun begins. Um Okay, so the thing that digs out more levels, um, yeah. Okay, I believe that's actually a PV. I'm gonna check the leaderboard. <laughs> this is a leaderboard. It was a PV. Oh my gosh. Well, that's Dig Dog. Thank you for watching.